The Pentax MX was one of the first of a range of compact 35mm SLR cameras that the company introduced during the mid-1970s. It was Pentax's top-of-the-range professional SLR from 1976 until they released the LX in 1980. The Pentax MX is a compact 35mm single-end reflex, following the trends set by the Olympus OM series. It was directed at the same advanced amateur and professional markets. The controls are quite bare. It's a case of what you see is what you get with this camera. On the right hand side of the top plate is the wind on. And there's the shutter release. There's a lock so you don't accidentally press the shutter release. The shutter speeds are set by this dial. It goes all the way from a thousandth down to one second. And there's flash synchronisation at a sixtieth of a second, just there. To change the ISO, you press in this button here and rotate the dial until you get the desired ISO setting. On the left hand side of the top plate is a rewind crank. There's no exposure compensation button because this is a manual only camera. Use that to rewind the film back into the cassette. On top of the camera is a hot shoe to give X synchronisation. On the front left hand side of the camera is the self timer just here. That's also a depth of field preview if you push it the other way. So you can look through the viewfinder and see what the depth of field will be at the taking aperture. Just next to the self timer is the button for releasing the lens and you can see the Pentax K mount. That wasn't quite universal but it was used by a lot of manufacturers such as Shinon, Casina, Vivitar and Sigma. So there are lots of quite affordable lenses that are very good quality available for this camera. There's very little on this side, just the connections for flash synchronisation. There's FP synchronisation if you're using old flash bulbs and X synchronisation for electronic flash. Loading film into the camera is relatively simple. You just grab the rewind knob and pull it up and that opens the camera back. Then you pop your film in, just here, push down the rewind lever. Then you pull the film across like so. Then you push the end of the film through these white slots here. Now wind on a frame. Close the camera back. And now you're ready to use the camera. This is the bottom of the camera. That's the battery cover. That's the tripod socket. That's the clutch that you press in order to rewind the film. When you finish the film, you press that in, it disengages the wind-on and you can rewind the film into the cassette. This cover needs to be removed in order to connect the motor drive. And that's another connection for the motor drive there. The motor drive allows you to wind film on at 5 frames per second. Through the viewfinder, you can see the aperture and shutter speed set. Next to the shutter speed readout are a number of LEDs. Adjust the aperture and shutter speed until the middle LED is on and that's the correct exposure. The Pentax MX is a compact professional camera that you can acquire reasonably cheaply. It has a huge range for accessories that can be purchased at very little cost so it's a great tool for getting into film photography.